the date of filming this is in the 16th of May. That marks the last day the sun will set for three months. The whole county will be in more or less direct sunlight for three months. You would think that when the sun is up all the time, spring should be here. And when you go to the shops, they sell ice cream, they sell summer beer, they sell bikes, everything. But there's one thing missing, Dietno, the great big river. And it's still covered in ice. And all in all, there's two ways the ice can leave the river. There's the boring one, where it just melts off and it silently disappears. And there's the more extravagant one, which there's a high chance of happening this year. And that's when the currents pull the ice to pieces, shreds it and washes it up to the sea. So this might be the most dramatic ice run since the 70s. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. We're at where the road used to be. You'd think this would be safe. All right, May the 17th. Still quite a lot of ice in the river. Nothing's really changed, but it's been a hot day and it's the Constitution Day of Norway. So normal people are out celebrating, eating good food and stuff. And I'm out here looking at the river. May the 19th, I'm at the river mouth, ice seawater but as you can see there's a lot of big banks behind me and there's not a lot of water coming through yes I'm red yes I've been in the Sun all day uh, yes I'm sunburned May the 25th, the ice is starting to run. Just seven days ago, virtually the entire river was covered in ice. And now, almost none of it is. We're gonna head up a little further up the river and see if the ice has melted away there as well. May the 26th. I almost gave up yesterday, but my brother called me out to drive the car. He got stuck in the snow and oh my God, look at this. It's, it's amazing. And finally, the ice is starting to run. <laughs> There's just one thing, all of the ice is clogging up right above some of the places where people live really close to the river. Now most of the houses are pretty safe, but the meteorologists say that this is probably going to be the biggest flood in a decade, and in some parts of the river, the biggest flood in half a century. It's probably going to be fine, but I made this graph just to show you how much water that actually is, and of course I'm going to film that as well. The top of the flood is supposed to be between the 4th and the 6th of June. So expect a part 2 to this video. And thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Peace.